Let me remove my pimple patches. They're a bit juicy. Oh, now let's do this one too. Oh, yeah, I've been like breaking out recently. So I'm trying to use them patches to help with that. Anywho, good morning. It's probably not the morning when you're watching this, but it's the morning when I'm filming this. It's currently 5.20 a.m. Yep. Yep, I don't know why I'm up this early, but here we are. We're doing a Q&A today because we hit, well, now we're past it, 20,000 subscribers. Um, that's wild. And I just wanted to do a Q&A so you guys can get to know me a bit more, so you guys can know me as a person. I'm also going to be doing my makeup while doing this Q&A because this face needs some makeup. I'm going to turn on my mirror right here. Don't look at how dirty and crusty it is. Oh my God! Ooh, with the light on it looks even dirty. <laughs> I need to clean you. Let's start it off good. This is a good question. How are you dip? I cannot read. <laughs> are you a different person on camera? Like on camera, you are all fun and bubbly, whereas off camera, you could be quiet, introverted, rude even? Question mark, question mark, question mark. In other words, you fake or not? <laughs> I love that question, especially at the end when it's like, you fake or not? Cause really we need the real tea. Am I fake? <laughs> to answer the first bit of the question, am I different on camera than off camera? Yes and no. I am different with my movie TV show commentaries. I talk a lot. I give a lot of commentary in those videos because YouTube's copyright system is strict. I don't talk as much when I'm reacting to something on my own time, like just me, myself, and I, compared to if I'm filming a reaction for YouTube. And I am introverted a bit. Like if I meet someone for the first time, I am a bit shy. I tend to match people's energy. So if the person I'm meeting is very like high energy bubbly, I'm the same way. But if the person I'm meeting is also an introvert, it's just gonna be two awkward introverts just in one room. So that's how I'm different, but I think I'm pretty much the same. When you get to know me, I'm the same like bubbly weirdo that I am in my reactions. So yeah, I don't think I'm fake. But then again, I don't know, maybe I am. You're just gonna have to meet me and find out. Next question, Maria wants to know, what's your sign and rising, Miss Girl? I will do you one better. I will give you my rising, my moon, my everything. According to this website, I am an artist with the Leo sun, but my emotions are rather intuitive. Pisces moon. I think in a bold way, Mercury and Leo. I express my energy in a provocative way, Mars and Scorpio. In love, I seek support, Venus and Virgo. That's right. Support and words of affirmation. I, I need you to tell me that I'm beautiful and that you love me like every five minutes. Tell me I'm pretty. You're pretty? <laughs> My role in the world is the adventurer, Sagittarius Rising. That seems like a huge mumble jumble of goodness up in there and it created this person that you're seeing on your screen right now. Yeah, we need to cover up all these pimples, Miss Girly. I have a lot of pimple scars on my face because I pop my pimples a lot. Don't do it. I'm telling you, don't be a pimple popper like me. I just can't help myself. It's a disease at this point. I just, I just see a pimple and I gotta pop it from Senorita Gemini. Ooh, I like that name. <laughs> what made you want to start the channel and where do you see it in five years? I just like to talk. I like giving my opinions on things. I kind of second guessed myself with starting this channel because even though I like to talk, I don't, I don't know how to talk well. Words don't come properly out of my mouth. But then one day I just said F it and I did it because life is too short to be second guessing yourself, okay? And it was around the time that my grandpa suddenly passed passed away from cancer. His um, passing really showed me that life is too short to be scared and you just gotta do, do it. it. Where do I see it in five years? I actually don't know what I wanna do. Oh, it's a hard question to ask because you never know what will happen in five years. I just hope I'm living life and I'm living life healthy and happy. Question number two, Final Destination franchise and the Chucky franchise. Love ya, love you too. 
final destination i might do that in the future not right now though because i just i just finished watching all of billy binge's final destination videos so i feel like the plot is still too fresh in my brain to react to it myself and then the chucky franchise i might fun fact growing up i was terrified of chucky okay but in little rakia's defense i did have a life-size doll growing up so the thought of that thing coming to life terrifying because if that thing try to uh, me it would win it went <laughs> so i think that's also another reason why i was terrified of chucky just the concept of a doll coming to life to try to unalive ya mm -mm. Mm, no thank you <laughs> now that i'm an adult and i've learned to overcome that fear i think i might batsy catsy that's a cute little rhyme, but I hope I said that properly. She came with the hard hitting question of favorite candy. That one's a toughie, but I got my answer. I enjoy Sour Patch Kids. Oh, correction, the blue Sour Patch Kids. I will eat out all the blue ones. And then when I'm out of blues, I will move on to the green Sour Patch Kids and eat all of those. And then when there's no more blue and no more green Sour Patch Kids, I just give the rest to my boyfriend for him to eat because I don't really mess with the yellow and red one. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's a crime for me to say. Naturally Dark Beauty. Ooh, I like that. And I also like your profile picture. Oh, is that your bitmoji? That's cute. Okay. Have you always wanted to be a YouTuber? When I was younger, I wanted to become a singer but I have anxiety and that would not allow me to go on a stage and sing in front of people. Then when I was 13, this little thing of YouTube was around and I would watch all these beauty gurus. I was like, I can do this. And I just wanted to be a beauty guru, okay? So I did beauty videos on my other channel for the longest time, been a solid decade. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna ever post again on that channel, but I wanted to be a YouTuber for a while. I feel like I've rambled off of that question. I'm so sorry if I did not properly answer the question, but yes, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber since I was 13 years old. So the Gabby show. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Why did I say the Gabby show? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Imagine Gabby Hannah's just commenting on my post. The Gabby channel put down a bunch of questions. So I'm kind of just gonna speed through these. What is your favorite season? Summer. Songs, Kill Bill, Low. My Mind by Yeba, oh my goodness. That song gets me in my feels all the time and it's a six minute long song. So it really just feeds my soul. Karma by Summer Walker, Insane by Summer Walker, Awkward by SZA, oof, yeah. Yeah! Those are some of my favorite songs at the moment. Um, places to eat at home. Nothing hits better than when you make a good meal at home, okay? And my honey garlic salmons be hidden. Your girl can cook when she wants to and when she's not lazy and when she actually has the ingredients in her fridge. Movies, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I saw that in theaters. It was an early screening, so I saw it before all of y'all did. <laughs> I feel special. That was a really good movie. It got me hella emotional in the theater. TV shows, I've been loving The Circle recently. Any pets, I do. I have a cat named Simba and a dog named Dagger. Your dream vacation, Bora Bora. Favorite colors, blue. Yeah. Your age, I'm 23. And your favorite animated movie, Coco was really good. Go watch the reaction after this one. Favorite animal, I love kangaroos. Got some blush next. I've been loving rare beauty products recently. I first put on my hand to try to not like put too much on, even though I still put too much on. Does something like, yes. I'm through coral peach. Then Brains World Channel. Well, I'm a Canadian and I personally wouldn't mind learning what you love about Canada. What do I like about Canada? Really, bitch. I like beaver tails. That's something. <laughs> if you don't know what beaver tails are, it's not a literal beaver's tail. It's a pastry dough. They stretch it out into like a long oval. They fry it, add cinnamon sugar on top of it, and it is so delicious. Miles says, my question is, what was the best thing a fan has ever said to you? There's been a couple of people that commented that they've been going through hard times or they've just been feeling low and that my video has brought them some happiness and has helped them through whatever situation they're going through. Those comments are always 
going to warm my heart. It makes me feel so happy. That's how reaction videos were for me before I started my channel. I would watch them to escape, to just forget about whatever I'm going through. And I'm happy that I can do the same for you guys watching. What is your favorite movie you've reacted to on your channel? I cannot pick one. So I'm gonna pick a couple. Big Fish. Was that the fish lady? <laughs> That movie had me so emotionally messed up. I was crying my eyes out at the end of it. It really called out my daddy issues. <laughs> I love the adventure of it all. I also enjoyed Brave because number one, that was my first video on this channel to hit over 100,000 views. Thank you guys. But also I had fun editing that one. I love your channel so much. Thank you so much. How do you style yourself to match the protagonist of the movie slash series you watch? I saw your Tiana dress and you look so stunning. Thank you so much. I want to find a few pieces that would match a few characters too. I got those off of Shein. What's your dream career and what do your dream job look like? You are amazing and please do more reaction videos about princess movies. Thank you and I will. My dream career career at the moment would be to stay home and do nothing. I'm kidding, but I think doing YouTube full time is my dream job right now. Like my goal right now is to hit 100,000 subscribers, which I'm really hoping we can this year. Pray into the YouTube gods. Yeah, I think doing YouTube full time because I really enjoy doing this. Like I enjoy filming, I enjoy editing, I enjoy replying to your guys' comments. It's kind of a bit harder to do that now because I'm receiving a lot more comments now. But for sure, YouTube is my dream job. Honestly, I really need the skincare routine because you are glow in. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, my skin is not perfect. Like right now, as you can, as you saw in the beginning, my skin is going through it a bit right now, but I have a bunch of skincare routines on my other channel. But honestly, all you really need is just a good cleanser, a good serum, good moisturizer and sunscreen, okay? People with melanin, my peeps, you still need to wear sunscreen, okay? I don't care if you don't burn, your skin is still getting damaged. So put on that SPF for a slap you. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna slap you. We do not promote violence, but wear it. Lil Winborn. Girl, I see you commenting a lot on my videos. You've been riding with me since my Euphoria videos a year ago. I really appreciate your love and support. Will you do outfit rating videos again with your boyfriend? Love your reactions and I'm happy that you're getting more followers. Congrats, thank you so much. If you guys don't know on my other channel, I used to do like boyfriend rates, my whatever, blah, blah. I feel like recently I've been having a little bit of body image issues. I don't know if it's body dysmorphia because I don't think it's that extreme. I'm too iffy with my body image right now to be doing like outfit raiding videos on the internet. So probably not anytime soon, but maybe in the future. Who knows? Deshaun the treat. Oh lord. Rakia. <laughs> I don't think you guys really understand. I cannot read or speak. Anywho, the great First question, how do you balance your real life with YouTube? I don't. It's a jumbled mess right now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing it. That's why I'm not consistent on YouTube yet. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to at least upload once a week, but it's hard trying to find that balance between it all. There's a lot of YouTubers who focus on YouTube and eventually quit. I have noticed people quitting and that's okay. People don't have to see YouTube as their forever job. And I think we should normalize that. Normalize people just wanting a change or closing a chapter in their life, you know? Second question, do you ever plan on retiring from YouTube? At this moment, no. Will I in the future? Probably. I do not think I'll do YouTube forever. Like, I don't think I'll be 60 still doing YouTube. At that point, I hope that I'm well established financially to be able to just retire and be sipping a margarita on a beach somewhere. Yeah. And third and final question, can you watch Gunpowder Milkshake? Also, you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. And love the makeup in the last video. Let me Google gun powder. Okay, it's on Netflix. It's an action thriller. Okay, okay. I'll for sure check it out. Thank you. We'll do mascara. I'm sorry, why? 
<laughs> Why do we always keep our mouths open when applying mascara? Someone should do a study on that because I need to know the science behind us needing to have our mouth open. Are you confident in your looks? I'm more confident now than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I really hated myself growing up. I hated my skin, my mole, my voice, my body because of how badly I was bullied in elementary. I don't know how I survived those years. But I think now in my adulthood, I'm for sure more confident. It took a lot of work though. <laughs> um, if so, how? How you talk to yourself makes a huge difference. I'm constantly in the mirror telling myself, Rakia, you're a badass biatch you're hot you're gorgeous you're amazing you're strong you're smart you're creative and i just repeatedly tell myself that there's gonna be days where you feel down on yourself and it's okay to feel those feelings just try to not let it eat you up you know like i try my best to let it affect me for a day or two and then after that i'm like okay rakia pick yourself up and also just if you're able to afford fixing whatever you're insecure about. Like I was super insecure about my eyebrows because I just, I have no eyebrows. Oh, oh jump scare. So I got my eyebrows microbladed. That's why I didn't really have to do much to my brows during this video with my makeup because my brows are already tattooed on. So worth it for my confidence. Cause I feel so good going out with no makeup now. Cause I at least have eyebrows. If you're able to work on your insecurities and fix them in any way that's not gonna hurt you or others and you can afford it, then do it, you know? Even when my friends and my boyfriend calls me adorable, I just don't see it and I think of myself as very ugly. Babes, no, don't do that. I'm telling you, positive talk to yourself can make a huge difference in how you feel and just your confidence as a whole. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but try to talk a bit more positive about yourself, you know? And it's really hard because I can't try stuff like makeup since I'm a boy stuck at home with a family that wouldn't like stuff like that. Thank yous for being one of the nicest YouTubers I've ever had the pleasure of seeing lately. Shut up, why are you so sweet? I'm so sorry to hear that you can't wear makeup because of your family. And I hate that you don't feel beautiful. You are more beautiful than you think you are. We're always our hardest critics. Like we're our own biggest haters sometimes. I'm telling you, working on catching yourself, like like if you're about to say, oh, I'm so dumb, like catch yourself real quick. Be like, nope, I'm not dumb. With your whole family thing, I'm gonna assume you're still like, in middle school or high school or something. Just know that what you're dealing with right now is temporary. Once you grow older and you move out and you're able to be your true authentic self, things will get better. When I lived at my mom's house, I love my mom, but we don't do well living together. Since moving out, I feel more at peace now. I'm gonna put on my eyeliner just cause I cannot talk and do my eyeliner at the same time. So give me a moment. Oh my gosh, getting my eyeliner even is always the hardest part. I don't think that's even. That doesn't look even. Okay, my eyeliner is not even. I kind of don't care at this point. I don't care. <laughs> Next question. Tate says, hi, Rakia. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well too, Tate. My question is, are you going to collab with more reactors or just overall do more collabs? Of course, I love your videos alone, but I find it hilarious when you collab. Thank you. Um, I will do more collaborations. I like doing collaborations. I would love to do more collaborations with Billy. He's hilarious. I feel like we're both just like on the same way wavelength humor wise someone commented on one of my videos saying i'm the female version of billy and i totally agree humor wise we're the same and then last question i literally love you and your channel also two questions for the q a how did you decide on what type of content you're going to make i feel like that's similar to a question i've answered to already but just loving reaction videos in general i it's like if i enjoy watching them i might as well make them you know what do you enjoy most about doing commentary videos 
What I enjoy most is just being a weirdo on camera and people just vibe in with my humor. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. In my Moana reaction with my Diz Usi comments. I'm telling you, Disney really put their whole Diz Usi up in this movie. I was debating if I should keep that in. I was like, are people gonna take this the wrong way? But I kept it in and you guys were cracking up to that. I was like, yes, I found my people. <laughs> That's what I love most about making these videos is just like having a community of you guys that get me. You know, the girls that get it, get it. But yeah, I'm going to put on a lip gloss and then call it a day. Get to my lip, but better color. Thank you guys so much for commenting on that. Post your questions and just the overall love and support. I really do appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys once again for over 20,000 subscribers. That is unbelievable and I cannot wait to see us continue to grow in the future. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go film some movie reactions and maybe a TV show reaction. Who knows, I haven't done one of those in a while. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, peace.